Over the past couple years, I have personally generated over $2.5 million in woodworking business sales for my business and over $4 million for my clients. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing. Let's dive in. All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the podcast. Again, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to check out the Handmade Business Secrets podcast. If you're listening to this on the podcast, be sure to go subscribe to the YouTube channel just under Zach Vaught. As always, I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that these videos are helping you in your journey to building the woodworking business and the life that you love. In today's video, I wanna talk about how I've generated over $2.5 million in sales for my own woodworking business over the past few years, and then also how we've generated over $4 million for our clients just the last year, year and a half, inside of the Woodworking Business Accelerator program, but I'm gonna teach you how you can do the same thing as well. Obviously, there's a lot that goes into growing a woodworking business. There's so many principles that you have to follow. There's so many things that you have to do, but the number one way to start growing is to, number one, take control of your lead flow and go all in on it. So probably 95% of you guys out there that are watching this video, the only way that you get new business is through word of mouth and referrals. It's the only way that you're getting new business. You can maybe have a sustainable business that way, but very rarely do I ever see woodworking businesses scale or grow or do a lot of volume just through word of mouth and referrals. Typically, you need to find a way that you are in control of your lead flow. This is either through organic marketing efforts, cold calling, cold emailing, posting in Facebook groups, posting on Facebook Marketplace. By the way, I did a great video of 11 ways to get new woodworking business sales. I'm gonna post a link right up here. If you're looking for actual strategies to get new woodworking clients, check this link out right here and go watch that video. We'll also put it in the description below. So I think that you need to pick, and I'll just tell you what I did, you need to pick one one to two new ways to generate leads inside your business and you need to figure them out and then you need to go all in on them. For me personally and for my clients, the number one way that I've been able to generate new leads is through Facebook advertising. If you've watched my channel at all, you know I'm a huge advocate for Facebook ads because it works. It's it's proven to work. It's been dependable time after time after time. Now, I think that you need to diversify your marketing efforts. You don't need to just put all of your eggs into one basket because that's really risky. If you grew a huge business and that was the only way that you generated sales and revenue, that's kind of a risk. You need to have multiple ways to generate revenue inside of your business. But ultimately, you need to pick one one or two ways to get new leads that you're in control of and you need to go all in on those things. That's what I did, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, like we can get into the, the weeds a little bit more and we will in this video. But at the end of the day, you need to find a way that every single day you are driving results for your business. And so you need to have a standard. You need to have revenue standards. You need to have outreach standards. You need to have cold contact standards. For example, like if one of the strategies that you pick is like, okay, I wanna connect with interior designers and I wanna start building products and working with interior designers. You need to reach out to five new interior designers a day and you need to follow up with two to three interior designers every day. You need to have a CRM system that you put all your interior designers in and you follow up with them, you're touching base with them, you're seeing if they need anything, if they have any clients or jobs that are coming up that you can bid, you can quote. That's one way that you can grow a huge woodworking business. I know of woodworking businesses that are doing two, three, four, five million dollars per year only through relationships with interior designers. If that was the only thing that you did, you could crush it. You don't need to focus on the outcome. You don't need to focus on, oh, I wanna do X amount in sales every month. You need to focus on, okay, if I wanna do X amount in sales, how many outreaches do I need to do? How many calls do I need to do? How many emails do I need to send? These are the types of things that you need to start thinking about if you're wanting to scale and grow your woodworking business. That's really, in a nutshell, what you need to focus on. So to distill this down a little bit more, you need to set daily goals for outreach, for quotes given, and for follow-ups. Let's say, for example, that you have a 10% close rate for everybody that you talk to. Okay, that means that you need to give out 10 quotes to close one. Let's say that your average order is $2,000 and you want to do $10,000 in revenue this month. Well, you need to close five deals, which means that you need to give out 50 quotes, which means if you take 50 divided by 30, that's 1.6 quotes a day. So you need to be giving out three quotes every two days. Okay, if you're not giving out three quotes every two days, you need to increase either the money that you spend on ads or your organic methods, outreach, cold email, cold calling, posting in Facebook Marketplace, posting in Facebook groups, your local Facebook groups. You need to increase those inputs until you're giving out the right amount of quotes to hit your goal. Then once you start hitting your goal, you build your operations to support that goal. Then once that's sustainable, then you raise the goal. Okay, I wanna to get to 20,000 a month. Okay, well then we increase lead flow, we increase quotes, we increase organic efforts or paid efforts 
shirts. This is the system. This is how you do it. And you just rinse and repeat this process again and again and again. We always lead with sales. We always want our sales to increase first and then our operations to catch up. And we want our sales to increase and we want our operations to catch up. We don't want to build this giant machine from an operation standpoint and not know where our next job is going to come from. We want to always have predictable sales through marketing and sales strategies, okay? Don't focus on the end goal, focus on the inputs that will result in the end goal being achieved. So this is essentially how I have sold as much furniture as I have. This is how I'm helping my clients sell a ton of furniture and we're implementing these strategies. And so if that is you, if you're watching this and you're like, man, I'm really ready to grow, I'm really ready to scale and you're doing even just a couple thousand dollars a month, come check out the Woodworking Business Accelerator program, come invest in your business, invest in a mentor, invest in somebody to help you with the strategies to take you where you're trying to go. And so with that being said, I love you guys. Genuinely, thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.